how to play Crossing Over by Van Halen. So you're going to be playing, uh, it's a D sus 2 chord with this hand. Uh, so that's 5 on the A, 7 on the D, 7 on the G, and then you're barring across the last two fives. And then you tap out this pattern. So if I just pick it, you're probably best off just learning that first. And then you tap it out an octave above. And then it's this. So that's... So you're just um, ascending from the D string down and then back up. And then you do that slide down from seven down to five. And then you do the same with this shape. And then this. So that part is just, if I pick it, you'll be able to see. But again, you're tapping it here. And then you repeat that sequence. So this is that slow. roughly it. He's got some crazy tremolo effect on it when he does it, but I don't have that. And um, so then the next bit where it kind of kicks in is this. So I'm playing it here. You could probably play it here. Which may be where he plays it, but I tend to do it here. So uh, 10 on the D, 10 on the G. And then you're going to change the 10 to a 9 on the G. And then seven twice. And then to a big old D chord. Um, and then he does this. Very eddy. Um, so that's just playing in the octaves of like a power chord. So you're playing five and seven, up to seven and nine, up to eight and ten, and then twelve and fourteen, down to ten and twelve. And what I did here, because when I recorded it anyway, he has the amp kind of screaming in the background. You can hear it goes into kind of feedback. So I kind of recreated that. Uh, with some natural harmonics. Oh, that one. So five on the D or five on the G. So. I'll try and get it right. So that one uh, ascends in the same way. No, it doesn't. It ascends this way. Five to eight, and then 13, down to 12. Down to 10. Uh, and then the chorus riff that I could work out uh, is something like this. So this is how I play it, not necessarily how it is played. So this is in drop D, by the way. So you're holding down three, three, and three. And you're just going to play the D string and the A string. And then go to the higher D string, to the fifth fret. And back. So. And then slide up to seven. And then I reach for the third fret here, 
so that the uh, notes ring into each other. <laughs> could always just play it. But I prefer the other sound. And then you go up to the seventh fret. So you're gonna play seven and seven on the D and the A. And then 10 on the A. Back to seven on the A. And then seven on the D between seven and eight. 